OK, let's take a look at this wonderful little product here. It's called the Pioneer Class Station from Zosa. It says it's a ship book and adventure on the cover, but it's actually more of a space station and adventure. Um, I'll just read to you now from the introduction, which I think sort of sets the tone. They're everywhere. In fact, they're now so ubiquitous that you probably don't even notice them anymore. What am I talking about? The Pioneer Stations. They're old, they're hard-working, and there's hundreds of them still out there. Ask most people what a space station looks like, and they'll describe some huge habitat, a massive rotating torus. But the Pioneer Stations are small, massing around 600 tonnes. But they're perfect for the jobs they do. And that's the thing about Leyland's 50-year-old brainchild. They were designed to be customizable with integral docking gantries, cargo bays and fuel storage tanks, the Leyland Pioneer can be the station that the buyer wants. There have been attempts by Leyland's competitors to replace the Pioneers with newer designs, but if you ask a general manager at Erebus or Tharsis for his opinion, he'll say the best replacement for a Pioneer station is another Pioneer station. That's from the intro, as I said. So I thought basically I'd just... Have a quick look at some of the artwork in here. And we start out here with Ian Stead's ship on the front, which is beautiful. And I love the look of that station. You can just imagine that station being in, you know, some geosync orbit somewhere. OK, so uh, I've made a note of some page numbers to jump to. So let's go to page number eight. OK, so you get a better sort of representation of what the station is. Um, so these are like fuel tanks or just tanks, actually, it does describe in them in here as being able to be repurposed for other things. So these two rocket shapes, the one on either side here, are uh, representing um, fuel scoops, I guess. They can go down, gather fuel, process it, and store it in these tanks. So they can be used for that kind of thing. And the same probes, I suppose, could be used for mining almost anything. There's a beautiful looking station. I, I don't know what it is. There's something about it that appeals to me. And these two bits that stick off here are, are gantries for if you're going to dock with this station. So the next bit is on the next page, which gives you some floor plans of the very small living area. It's 600 tonnes, but most of it is uh, taken up, well, with engineering and storage. So let's jump through to page 16. I kind of like this. We... Th as well as being about the station itself, there's a um, quite long scenario in here. And this is some of the artwork from that scenario. And I quite like the fact that they're giving you sort of orbital plans of the system where the scenario is set. Um, I'm not sure if I've seen that before, to be honest. But I like the way they've done that. So uh, let's just jump on again from 16 to page 27, which is well into this scenario. And again, there's another line drawing. So here you go. It actually describes those drones. I thought they were like skimming drones, I guess, for gas mining. Two of those. Again, it's got even more detail on it now. It's very nice. OK, so we've got a UPP there as well, by the looks of it. All right. And finally, let's just jump to page 37. And again, they've, they've rendered it with a planetary image and a star background very nice this is a good way to sort of end the pdf anyway there's a link to this in the description if you like what you've seen and i'll leave it there thank you